serial. Uh, we are all going back to that. Uh, so that is an encouraging trend. And the availability of so I mean health foods or healthy food is kind of increasing. It's not that we have to go to certain specialty shops. It is now available even in a, at the supermarket level and even in the smaller two-tier cities. So yes, I mean there is encouraging there are encouraging trends at different levels. So wonderful. To sum it all up, yes, there is, it is an uphill task at the moment for everyone to make sure that their children eat healthy. Everyone here has agreed that it begins with you. You've got to, you've got to eat healthy yourself to be convinced and to enable your children to eat healthy. And society, I think, has reached an habit and is now moving towards an understanding that food has an enormous role to play in health and uh, we would be absolutely foolish if we were to ignore it. So, I think, yes, I, uh, the, the time has come for most of us to move towards health. Alia's book is going to show you how to do it. And I'd like to thank all of you. Yes, you have some yes. See, the book is also mentioned quite a bit. The best way to remove stress from you, your family and children, is to understand one basic scientific information or practical information. Balance your day, night, day and night, light. Children need to sleep and for them to sleep they need to relax, they need to have happy time. So that one step will bring the original blueprint in their body more alive. And the one biggest crime collectively we are doing is to force the body, the hormone system, to work, over work, on and on and on. So that's one thing. Now none of this discussion will come to that. That's only in your hand. Switch off the light by 8 o'clock, put on a lot of music. Children love darkness. Play with them. Relax. Parents, please come home by 6 o'clock. You choose to become parent. As a policy in my life, only all my stuff, all my work, only one third. Nobody works more than six, seven hours. And also not more than four and a half days. One third of your time for family, one third of your time for your profession and collective initiative of sensitive people joining together and making a determination that I am going to give the best for my kids. I have it in me and I will do it. Taking up community work to grow, please grow your own vegetables. Thank you. So I call uh, Vidya Venkat the uh, Advaita stage of uh, nutrition because she is telling us the ultimate, where we ultimately need to go. You know, because we have we have moved away from uh, the natural and you know balanced way of life, and we need now to return. Which is then show us the way, Alia, Sonali, and all, and maybe all of them in so many different ways are encouraging us. So thank you all once again. It's been a most stimulating discussion. I now throw it open to the audience. I think I see a hand over there. Yes. You're asking too many questions. One at a time. SMS. Why not a SMS facility where? can work, people want about eating habits and the main thing madam, parents are working, how to introduce children to good food eating habits in holidays. I and think you know what, I am going to forget all the yeah. questions, so we will take them one at a time. So your first question was, food is very expensive, expensive. fruits and vegetables are very expensive and government is pushing us towards? Package food. Package food. Okay, so anybody would like to take Other food? Yeah. Yeah. How much money you spend? for keeping up children healthy in terms of insurance, doctor visits. And if you collectively buy fruits and take that interest, it's not that expensive. Your bonita to everything. And I can give you a budget, now I don't know. 30 years back I said, 5 rupees a child can be fed wonderfully. Five rupees a day. This was about 30, 30, 30 years back. See, now I, stopped, I stopped giving advice to people because today I know you come and learn minus an education center. But there are solutions. Banana is 
more than your mother's milk. So you need to first know the content, what you are trying to do. Okay, nobody can push you. You get pushed. Okay, anybody else? How do you uh, handle the fact that uh, fruits and vegetables are becoming increasingly uh, expensive? It is a point of value. Takes the milk in the night and gives the child in the morning. Put a blanket in the milk. It'll be very strong. Thank you. Great. Thank you. Talking about a subject which all of us have to interact and find for yourself. There is no instant relief. Okay. And experience it. Whether that I will say whether you value and price. What is the price you are making? What is the value you give for your kid? I am telling. Let the kid eat anything. Make them sleep. Treat them like children, not like adults. Are you? Um, I think if um, anyone who makes a comparison that healthy food is expensive, I don't think they have uh, priced cancer and they have not priced um, our big diseases today because they are more expensive in the long run. We don't realize that we are what we put into our food now is an investment. We do have to make an investment, and we have to make a conscious investment of what we eat. Hello, uh, hi. Can you elaborate why dairy is given? Of course, she has. She is the original advocate of why. Okay, what is the question? Are you a cow? No, why I wanted to take it is because she's going to... Yes, I, I, who will build the cat? I have built the cat. Alright? You were, that's what I said. I'm glad you are asking the question. Your body has got a system of digestion, which is decided by nature. Before you came, the food for you is kept. Cow don't drink milk and go for checkup and say whether my bone is strong. It is the grass. It may not be glamorous for us. Cows eat grass. Birds go for grains, mother cookie goes for honey, human beings are fruitarian. Of course, the power of the body, the intelligence of the body is the divine intelligence. You can cope up with everything. And when the body knows it now, it gives you the sickness. They have sickness. So now the body is saying, my stress is too much. At least for the next 10 days, let's stop it. Milk. Milk is not digestive. It's for the cow. Do you have post stomach? Your child has called four stomach? Four huh? stomachs. My son usually used to not like and I used to call him have milk. Shiki, this is a story of the kid. You don't do four speed in the <laughs> You know, it is very chin up, day down, publish the book. Why didn't you put it that will make his uh, points? Yeah. Dr. Charma, we grew together. Yeah. Alright? Should get that. One of the things many people point out is that uh, milk, there is no other species that eats, uh, that has, uh, consumes the milk of any other species except the human being. So the cow's milk is meant for calves. We are not calves. And, and, and also the growth factor. You want a child, a cow which is about 90 pounds. Now I have even forgotten all this because I don't want to talk. It is in other it is 2000. It is 2000. You a child which is 8 pounds takes more than 15, 16 years to get the maximum of how many? 50, 60 kg. And the food you are giving to your child is such a heavy growth factor. Can I tell you something? Of course, personally, I don't accept any disease as disease because these are all interpretation. When you give space, time, energy at the basic level of the center, cells intelligence, the cells know what to do. And we are longing for that love. So that's a different topic. It is cancer, is void, the body is overworked by digestion. Milk takes more than 48 hours to digest. And when it is digested, what is in the body is good for cow's bone and not your bone. So what about the milk products? Milk same? Milk or milk product? Okay, let, let me tell you, don't forget this. You have a hardware in your computer. That's the hardware change. You keep changing the software. Yes or no? So your body is a hardware. Your body has not changed for years of years. Alright? So how do you substitute? Substitute. Are there? 
for a poison you want to do something. <laughs> uh, almond milk is a very good substitute because when you have dairy products, dairy products have a lot of calcium, but they actually have very little magnesium in them. And you need both to absorb, you need magnesium to absorb the calcium. So there are many other substitutes that are plant-based that would give you calcium and magnesium together. And something like almond milk is a very good option because the almonds themselves have a lot of calcium and magnesium together. And this is something when we started making almond milk and telling the people about it, uh, all the, the generation of my mother, when I tell them about almond milk, they tell me, oh, my mother used to do it. So our grandparents used to use almond milk. For some reason, we have grown out of that. And because dairy products have become so commercialized today, that that's all you see and that's all you remember. And dairy companies have very big advertising budgets. They actually have a lot of spending money to brainwash you, just like, just like you believe that if I tell people don't have dairy, they tell me, you're telling me to undo everything that my mother has told me and my grandmother has told me and now believe you. So you have to remember that there is a very big budget for advertising to do just that. But in the universities, the nutrition courses, they're still uh, talking about yes. milk and milk and products. that's why we are here and we are dry in the throat and we are talking. <laughs> you have got a viewpoint, get it wrong. Yes. And also they make substitute because that they will can be again say it's expensive. It's out for the round man. Uh, can I see and you thing? can grow them on in a separate two by two feet you can grow every three months groundnuts which are more than enough food. Everything can be grown. But then you have to be socially conscious that I can make a change and only you can make a change. And that change happens when you are convinced what you eat, when you eat, how much you eat and why to eat. And that is the job we are all trying to promote. I, I think one of the key things here is, uh, as Dr. Venkat has said, is get involved and look at the other viewpoint. I think what's coming out now, an emerging trend in, in, in our uh, particular uh, scenario in India, I see when Dr. Venkat uh, was trying to say many, many years back that dairy is something we should be doing, no one was listening. Am I right? No one's even listening today, but more people are willing to look at the other side. More people are willing to look at you know, it's a very good trend. More people are willing to look at the fact that the fact that you're sitting here and listening to us, people are saying, don't do it, itself is a sign that you're willing to look at. So get involved and find out why. And there are, you know, we're, we're going to give you a little tip of the iceberg, but get involved. There's a lot of research out there. There's a wonderful book that Dr. Baker's put together. There's a book that I've put together. There's, there's a book that Alia now has. It's all there. The information is all there for you to read. And for you to make up your mind at the end of it all. Do you want to do it? Or do you, how do you want to translate it? Now you come to me in a mission alley, you're telling me include almond milk. You know Dr. Wakert's courses, the food course, the, the teaching courses, that they, they teach you how to make the milk. So if you're going to tell me, I don't know how to make it, they teach you how to do it. And they teach you how to substitute it and use it in your cooking. How to make healthy without medicine, don't forget this and this. So it's all there, you just have to tap into it. You know, it's it's this all there. Last question. No, there's another question. I just want to add to it. Of almonds you are talking about, almonds is very expensive nuts. There are four super nuts, pistachio, walnut, almond and peanuts. Ma'am, I have one peanut milk. Peanut milk is very inexpensive. So you can instead of almond you can always use peanut milk. Peanut milk is very high in protein and a lot of other nutrition are there. And the lowest, cheapest uh, product of all the food, more nuts, is the peanuts. So instead of... Uh, I just have to say, the only, yeah. the only problem with peanuts, uh -huh. first of all, peanuts are not nuts. Peanuts yeah. are actually... Family nuts. Family nuts, of, family. Of, family. nuts are family. Nuts are family of nuts. Peanuts are not in the family of nuts. Sure. All the peanuts, so we think it is. Peanuts are actually from the family of legumes. No, However, okay. I have to say here that peanuts have a high allergenic uh, tendency, so you have to be careful. A lot of children are allergic to peanuts, and it is not advisable to give okay, children check that also. peanuts but, until the age of five. But more for the adults I'm talking about. Since they are not having milk, dietary food. in the milk for adults, instead yes. of almond, they can always you substitute can with the peanut. The peanut. Peanut, peanut will be a better option, it will be a cheaper option. Coconut. Yeah, because almond is very expensive and the self-life is only for two days only. Yeah, 
Thank you again for joining us here. It's been a most stimulating evening. Thanks so much.